Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when audio is not working. So if you're facing any kind of audio issue with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. First of all, go to options and then go to audio option over here. Make sure master volume and everything is set to 100% like in my case. And then you can check. If that does not work, the next step is to press Windows plus G and then select the right audio device. Now on your keyboard, press Windows plus G. This will open game bar on your computer. So let me open once again game bar. Now once the game bar is open, now you can click on this audio over here. And over here, uh, make sure your speaker is selected. So whichever audio device you want to use, make sure that device is selected over here. Voice also, uh, you can go to voice and make sure that your audio device is selected. The right audio device is selected over here. In my case, it's uh, the Realtek inbuilt, uh, that inbuilt uh, speaker. And then you can check. If you're using headphone, make sure that your headphone is connected, uh, selected over here. So once you do that, now you have to relaunch the game. If the game is running, close it and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to make sure volume is not on mute. Sometimes like you, at the bottom right here, you can see speaker icon, click on it and then click over here in front of speaker, select output, uh, sound output. And then over here, you can see uh, your game. If this is on mute, then you can unmute it. So just click on it on your game icon over here and this will unmute and make sure that you can drag it to all the way up to 100. And then you can you have to relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to restart the game. If that does not work, restart your computer once. Just restart your computer once and sometimes it works. So you can try. Next step is to set sound sample rate to 48,000 or 44,000 hertz in sound control panel. Now for this, you can type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to sound. This will open sound control panel. Now once sound control panel is open, let me open it. Yeah. Make sure that your speaker is selected over here. Whichever speaker you are trying to use, make sure that speaker is selected. And then uh, you can go to select your speaker and then go to properties. And then you can go to advanced tab over here. And for me, here you can see 16 bit, 192,000, 96, So you can select like maybe uh, 24 bit, 48,000 first and then hit apply. Click on OK and then launch the game and then check. You can even try 16 bit, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. You, you can even go for 24 bit, 44,100 hertz, hit apply, click on OK and then try 16 bit, 44,100 44, hertz and then hit apply. Now you launch the game. You have to relaunch the game and then you can check. Now the next step is to, if you're playing with controller, disconnect controller when you start the game. Now connect the controller once the once the game is up and running, once you hear the sound. Now the next step is to turn off spatial sound. Now for this again go to control panel and then click on sound over here. And for this make a right click on the speaker, whichever speaker you're using and then go to spatial sound. If this is set to Windows Sonic for headphones, you can turn it off and then hit apply, click on OK. If it is already off, you can try Windows Sonic for headphones, hit apply, click on OK. Check which one is working fine for you. And then still not working. You have to relaunch the game. After each step, make sure that you relaunch the game. Next step is to disable Oculus or voice meter audio device under recording and playback in sound control panel. So open sound control, control panel once again. Now over here, if you see Oculus over here or maybe voice meter, make a right click and then disable it. This, this is just an example. I don't have Oculus or voice meter over here, but if you have it, make a right click and then click on disable. And do the same thing in the recording tab also. If you find Oculus or voice meter, make a right click and disable it. Now, and also do the same thing in device manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager. Now expand sound, video and game controllers over here. Now over here, if you find like Oculus, or voice meter over here, uh, you can just make a right click and then you can disable it. You can disable 
all the speak, uh, uh, audio device which is not your speaker. In my case, I'm this using this Realtek audio. So if I have these things, other things, you can just make a right click and disable. So make sure that your only your speaker is uh, enabled over here. The rest you can disable it and then check. If you face any problem, you can always make a right click and enable it. Now the next step is to uncheck hands-free telephony. Now for this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in run in Windows search box and then open run box and paste the command over here and then click on OK. This will open this print devices and printers. Now over here, select your speaker, whichever speaker you're using, make a right click on your speaker and then go to properties and then go to services tab. And over here, you will see hands-free telephony. Uncheck this hands-free telephony and then hit apply and then click on OK. And then you have to relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. For Steam users, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is done, now you can launch the game and then check if you have the game on Xbox app, then in that case, you can select the game over here and then you can click on these three dots and then click on manage over here and then go to files and then click on verify and repair and click on yes. And once the verification is done, uh, then you can launch the game and then check the sound.